Hello and welcome back. This is episode number five of our Halloween series. So you all always go crazy when I use Rigid Collodion, which is the plan for today. So I have these. I printed them out a couple months ago for a look and I want to put these all over my face and add Rigid Collodion to it. If you don't know what Rigid Collodion is, we're gonna get to that later. Um, but yeah, let's, let's get started. And if the look turns out good and I wanna post it, I already have a caption in mind. Anyway, let's get this hair out of my face first because I have a lot of it now. Uh, let's get it out the way. We cap is on, let's get into the fun part next. So I have this red lip liner and then these and I kind of want to put that on my face and trace the stars a little bit. They don't have to be perfect and they don't have to be clean. I'm blending, I'm putting the collodion on it anyway, but you know, just kind of an okay star. Now I just have to figure out where to place them. I think around here. I want quite a big one, I think. Maybe let's start with this one and then see. Let me just cut that out. I think that's a bit easier or maybe it makes it harder. I don't know, but I'm gonna try cutting it. Okay, so here we go. I want this to be kind of here or maybe like this, hold on. And your lines don't have to be clean or precise. Just put them on because we're gonna blend them later anyway. So just get the shape down and then blend it. So this is the shape of my scar. I'm just gonna maybe... Next I'm gonna pick up a tiny bit of red pigment with a small precise brush and kind of blend the shape a little bit. So this is the finished shape of the scar and now we're adding the collodion to it. Here's just some general info, stuff you should know before putting this on your skin. So number one, as we talked about, this stuff stinks. It smells like chemicals while it's still wet, so that disappears, but while it's still wet, it stinks. Number two, it's highly flammable. So if you put it anywhere on your face, on your skin, and if you're a smoker, for example, if it's wet, if it's dry, it doesn't matter, it's highly flammable, so be extra careful with that. And number three, and this is the one I got a lot of comments on last time, do not put it near your eye, near your mouth, do not put it on your lip, do not put it near your nostrils, um, just be very careful with those very sensitive areas of your skin. The comments I got was because I did that, I put it on my lip and I put it around my eye. I would never put it on my eyelid, for example, but I've been using this product for years, I appreciate your concern, but I know what I'm doing, I know what my skin can handle. But again, my advice for you is do not do it. It says on the packaging to not do it. Any makeup artist will give you the advice to not do that. But again, for my own skin, it's okay. I know what I'm doing, I know what my skin can handle. But again, and like a tenth time, do not do that and be very extra careful with your sensitive areas on your skin. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, for the next step, I'm gonna zoom you in just so you see what's happening. I'm gonna start with this line right here. So again, the product comes on a little brush and you really just brush it onto your skin and do one layer first and see how your skin reacts. So in general, I would recommend doing a patch test first. So put that on your arm, leave it on for a couple hours, see if you have any allergic reactions, any itching. And if you do, please do not use this product. But if you don't have any reactions at all, then it's safe for you to put on your skin, but please do a patch test first. And really take your time with applying the product. So this is the first layer. You can see how the skin kind of starts to pull together. This is what the product essentially does. When the first layer is still drying, really wait for it to fully dry, see if you're happy with the result, and if yes, leave it like that. If you wanna add a second layer, you can. If you wanna add a third layer, you can. But really always wait till it's fully dry and then put the next layer on. But you can see how the skin is slowly starting to pull together. I'm just adding a second layer now because I want it to be a bit deeper and a bit more intense. So I'm just adding the second one and then letting that fully dry down again. So what's completely normal is just feeling a bit uncomfortable, the tightness forming on your skin, that that feels a bit uncomfortable. That's fully normal, but if you feel itching or intense pain, take it off immediately. I'm just adding a small line here as well, because sometimes in the process I think, oh, that might look cool, so I add more, but this is fully optional. Sometimes you see something, sometimes you're happy with how it is. You do you. And now you can see how this is pulling together even more and the scar is getting deeper. This is what a second layer would do and now I'm gonna do the rest of it and then decide if I wanna add a third or if I'm happy like this. So let's do this area next. Just putting on some product and then also these small lines here. Again, you can already see how the skin is pulling together but I want it to be a bit deeper so I'm gonna add a second layer. So I'm just picking up a bit more of the product and putting it on. While this part is drying, I'm just gonna start on this part as well. So again, 
Same process. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest as well and then you can see what it looks like finished. Do you already have Halloween plans though? Like costume ideas and also what are you doing? Are you gonna go out to party or staying at home? So I don't think I'm gonna go out because I'm really not a party person and I think I'm gonna do a cozy Halloween. Maybe like actually go and carve some pumpkins or something, you know? I think that's the vibe this year. Okay, this scar is now fully done. Let me zoom you in just so you see what it looks like and what the product really did. So this is the scar fully done. I'm gonna move around a bit just so you can see. This is what it looks like from the front. And if I turn my face, you can really see the dent that the product made into your skin. So if you can see right here. Okay, next decision, where are we gonna put the rest of the stars? So it's kind of hard to talk with this right now, but anyway, so I'm thinking maybe forehead or maybe the other cheek first. Mm, I'm not sure yet. I think I'm gonna do a small star right here on my nose, but I'm just gonna cut that out again just so it's easier. Let's go with this one right here. There we go. And I did print these on sticker paper a couple months ago, so I think I can even stick them on. Perfect, that makes it a whole lot easier. Again, just gonna extend some of the lines and then blend. Okay, got the basic shape down again and now same process. So just rigid collodion on top and then see how many layers you need. One, two, maybe even three. But uh, yeah, let's do it. I might do this one off camera though, just because it's so close to my eyes. So I'll be right back. The star in my nose is drying right now. This is the second layer. I might do third, but let's just keep adding stars while this dries just to save a bit of time. So let's do the next one here. And I'm thinking not the biggest, but maybe also like this one. So not a super small one, but maybe this. Let's go for this one. So this one right here would look cool, I think. So again, I'm just gonna peel this off and glue it on here. I want this to kind of go down here. So let's, let's put it here. This whole video is just gonna be me saying, okay, same process, but same process. So drawing it on first and then rigid collodion on top and all of that. We, we know the process by now. Blending. And I'm just seeing this one has a super cool texture now. The, like the middle really sticks out. Wait, I'm just gonna zoom you in. I don't know if you can tell, but the middle really sticks out. Do you see how cool that is? Like right here. Cool. So this big star on my forehead is starting to look good. I don't know if you can tell, but the middle part is starting to go up and the scar is really pulling down. So um, I think I want a big one here and maybe two small ones like here and here, but let's do this one first. Already blending and you guessed it, same process. So I'm just gonna do this one off camera, be right back. Okay, all of the stars are done. It's getting kind of hard to talk, but they're all done. Let me zoom you in so you can see each one and see what the product did. So this is the one we did together, so you already know about this one. And then this one is my favorite because it's so small and I added a lot of product. I think I did four layers on this one, so the middle part really sticks out. I'm not sure if you can tell on camera, but the skin really pulled together very tightly here, so the middle really sticks out and I really like it. And then with this one, I really like how the eye is pulled down by the product. This was actually not on purpose, but I really like it. And I also wanted the scars, like the individual lines, to be bigger than the other one. So that's what I did here. And I really like this pulling down effect. And then with this one on my forehead, I kind of did a mixture of all of them. So I did like long spiky lines and this kind of connects to this one. And then the middle kind of sticks out. Maybe if I press it down a bit, you can see. I'm not sure if you can tell, but this one really sticks out. And then, uh, yeah, this one is my favorite though, I think, because this really sticks out. Yeah. Okay, so it's getting kind of hard to talk with all this on my face, but I'm just gonna put on my wig and then do the lip. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna do something with the eye or just leave them alone, but uh, I'm gonna put on my wig first, be right back. And I'm gonna be doing a similar lip to the last one, so I'm just taking this dark red lipstick and kind of doing this smudged look. Okay, full circle back. I hate where this is going, so I'm taking off the lip and taking off the wig. Okay, better, that was just way too much. So I'm just gonna take some pictures like this now, and then when that's done, I'll also put some fake blood on it so I can see which effect I like better on the pictures. Okay, let's do some camera tests. I just had a look at the pictures and it needs a bit more, so I'm gonna do a very subtle eye look. I want to do this kind of red eye that's a bit smoked out, but really not too much, very subtle. 
So with a red eyeshadow, I'm just smoking out my lower lash line and also adding this small wing. And then I'm going to take this black eye pencil by NYX. This is the Epic Wear Liner Stick, just the black one. And I'm just going to darken my waterline. I hope this is the right choice for this look right now because I'm, I'm not too sure. But I'm just going to do it and if I don't like it, I can still take it off. To be honest, I'm still not sure if I like the eye. I always have to see it on camera and the mirror, it just doesn't do it for me. I have to see the picture. So I'm just going to add some fake blood to my lip and then see in the pictures if I actually like it. So as always, picking up a bit of product on the brush and just patting that all over my lip. Hold on, let me add lipstick first. This is a mess. I have no idea. I really love the stars, but the rest is kind of hard to figure out right now. Okay, going in with the blood. So the eye is okay. I think I want to add a bit of glitter, but the lip is just weird and out of place. I don't know if you can see, but the lip is just weird, but the eye needs a bit more glitter. Yeah, okay, let's do that. So I'm just going to turn the light on. Yeah, the lip just look weird. Like, I have no idea what I'm doing and I don't, but you're not supposed to see that in the pictures, you know? For the glitter, I'm gonna use the Isamaya palette and I'm gonna use shade number Sweat, which is this one right here, obviously my favorite one. And I'm just gonna pick up some glitter on my finger and just apply that onto my under eye. I just had a look at the pictures. I mean, you cannot see that much on the small screen, but I think they look super cool. And doing this was the right call. The subtle lip and bit of glitter, that was the right call and the wig was too much. Okay, and this is it. That's the full look. As always, here's a couple pictures. Hope you enjoyed this look in this episode and see you in the next one. Bye.